Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and today's episode of In For Repair is going to be the first of its kind. Many people have been asking me, Jim, what happened to the Harley Benton TE62 that you did all the modifications and made all the videos about? Did you sell it? Did you get rid of it? What's going on with it? We're going to be checking that guitar out because it's actually right under here. It fell from a wall stand during the hurricane that hit here about two and a half months ago, straight six and a half feet down to hardwood floor. So we're gonna be checking out the condition and then going over what the future has in store for this guitar because I believe it definitely does have a future. But first, let's have a look at the damage. Now, if you have a really keen eye, you might have already noticed that this guitar is entirely disassembled minus the neck still being connected to the body. The reason for that is I wanted to see just how extensive the damage was going to be from not just the cracking on top, which you can see really profound kind of crack right there and here as well. We'll get to the back in a second, but the other parts of the body have a lot of small cracks in it, but structurally, I mean, if we looked into the cavity, the camera might be able to pick up some of it. it the crack does go all the way kind of down, but I think we could still be able to save this guitar to an extent, at least get it back into a playable position. So let's check out the back damage here. This, yeah, that's a rough spot right there. So you can see it's definitely a kind of a thicker polyester finish because there's some guitars that if it had taken this kind of hit to it, it just would have like chipped off entirely, uh, especially some of the uh, lower end Squire guitars. I've seen that happen firsthand. Uh, so I guess that's a kind of positive here going for the Harley Band. It didn't entirely just fall apart, which I mean, no guitar is ever built to be taking the kind of fall from that height straight onto the ground. But I mean, this is still something that I feel we could do something with. So I guess if you have a Harley Benton and you were ever curious how it would hold up if it fell off of a wall stand straight onto the ground, uh, this is a pretty good approximation of that. However, what are we gonna do with this guitar? Do I still have the parts? Absolutely. Let's do a quick rundown of that. Okay, in our parts bin, we still have the bridge, we have all of the tuners. Oops, easy. Get these guys out of here. Beautiful. We have our three way selector switch slash control plate that's missing the three way selector switch, unfortunately, on that. Uh, yeah, a typical kind of import soldering job. Our jack and our two Roswell pickups, as well as the mounting hardware for all of that stuff as well. We will need this, which I've already purchased. It's a brand new Fender three-way toggle switch for a Telecaster. So this will be going in our parts bin. We can already kind of start to reassemble this. And then we're gonna put it off to the side. I personally believe this guitar can be back into playing shape with not a whole ton of effort. Yeah, it's gonna have some battle scars on it, but I still think that this could be a usable instrument. However, I'm not gonna be the one that's fixing this guitar, and I'm not gonna be the one that's keeping this guitar. There's somebody who follows this channel who is an aspiring luthier slash repairman, and I'm gonna send him this with all the parts completely disassembled and you, if you are so interested, are going to have the opportunity, I assume he's going to film this because he also does YouTube videos, putting this thing back together, perhaps doing something crazy with the finish. I know he's really big into art. Maybe he'll strip it and do something really cool in that sense. I'm excited to see that go. But Mr. Staley, we're packing this up. I already purchased the label. It's gonna be heading to you. And as for everybody else, I'm sure whenever he gets it, he's gonna let me know. And I will let you know once he starts getting to work on it and you can check out his progress as he goes. But happy new year, sir. Happy new year. Now you don't have to make so many decisions about purchasing a new guitar. You have something you can work on and really mold into your own as well as experiment a little bit and learn to solder. So let's get this thing in a box, get it shipped out, and I'm out of here for the day.
Best of luck, Staley.